So at this time, we will officially begin our Martin Luther King Jr. Writing Awards program. This evening, I can say to you that this program is a hallmark to our Carnegie Mellon's celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Peter Cook, professor and head of the School of Drama. Peter Cook is an internationally recognized performing artist, educationalist, administrator, researcher, and theater practitioner. He was born in Brisbane and educated in Kuala Lumpur, Cambria, and Sydney. Peter was the first graduate of the theater design course at Australia's premier theater school and National Institute of Dramatic Art in Sydney, Australia. Prior to joining Carnegie Mellon School of Drama as head in January 2009, Peter was the deputy director and head of design at NIDA, a role he held for 22 years. What I'll say, and I'll stop there, is that when I think about the School of Drama and I think about the individual in which Peter's going to introduce, this group is a vibrant part of the experience at Carnegie Mellon. When we think about creative expressions, which is what we're celebrating this evening, but a creative expression with a social impact. Uh, and the School of Drama is a vital part of the experience that we're gonna have today that people come back for year after year after year. So Peter, I welcome you to the stage to um, introduce our School of Drama. Thank you. Thank you, Chanel, and good afternoon, everybody. We at the School of Drama are delighted to participate in the celebration of the life and work of Dr. King and the recognition of the Martin Luther King Junior Writing Awards. Our students and faculty give generously of their time and creative treasure for a variety of university functions and celebrations. None, however, is more, has more poignancy or status than today's annual event. In our interactions in the school, I see our staff, faculty and students engaged daily in the challenges of the creative process, the pursuit of critical analysis and the promotion of diversity, empathy and inclusion. The pleasing news is that the development of a good character is often the result of these at times testing activities and attributes. As Dr. King said, we're reflecting on the role of education. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Prophetic words and proven true time and time again in my experience of, of the creative arts. It's now my great pleasure to introduce one of the most highly admired music theatre artists in the country and our wonderful professor uh, in the school, Gary Klein. Gary works unbelievably hard to bring our students up to a standard that they leave the school, they champion uh, Broadway, they're all over the music theater scene in America and internationally, and a large part of that is due to Gary's individual care and the care of Thomas Douglas and Claudia Benach, our other teachers in the school. It is remarkable to have somebody of such quality at the school every single day. He is there from nine o'clock to six o'clock every day working with these students. And it's been a great pleasure of mine over the years that I've known Gary to work with him. So I'd love to welcome him to the stage to introduce our music theater ensemble. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Gary Klein.
Martin Luther King once said, if a man or woman hasn't discovered something he will die for, he isn't fit to live. This next song was sung at Dr. Martin Luther King's funeral on April 9, 1968, by the great Mahalia Jackson after being gunned down by assassin's bullet. But first, a poem by Maya Angelou, Still I Rise. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Cause I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard, because I laugh like I've got <laughs> gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? 
Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I, I rise. rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I, I rise. rise. I am a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I, I rise. rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I, I rise. rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. to hear the truth about this tragic war. There comes a time when silence is betrayal. These were Dr. King's words addressing the war in Vietnam. He said, we must learn to live like brothers or perish together as fools.
the day before Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, he said, like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that. I just want to do God's will. He has allowed me to go up to the mountain, and I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. Gary to stand up, because Gary Klein, I know this is my friend and my buddy, and he always does such a wonderful job. We just appreciate you um, and the School of Drama uh, in sharing uh, on this special occasion, but really, let's also give a round of applause to Rich Purcell uh, and all of the groups from the Writing Awards. Let's give them another round of applause. And I'm going to turn it over to Gary. And again, thank you so very much for coming out this evening. Uh, for those for your first time here at Carnegie Mellon, I hope that you felt very welcomed um, because we want you to feel welcomed here at Carnegie Mellon. And for the winners from the high school, we want you to come back and we want you to apply to come to Carnegie Mellon. Uh, and our Dean Chine is correct. We want them to come to Carnegie Mellon and apply um, to our, our, our Dietrich College um, in creative writing uh, as well. So thank you again. And G Gary, I'm turning it over to you. My life flows on in endless song above earth's lamentations I hear a real though far off hymn that hails a new creation Through all the tumult and the strife I hear the music ringing It sounds in Oh. 
Thank you. Have a good night.